New at 6 o'clock, a 25-year-old immigrant who lost his leg from gunfire, now using a new prosthetic leg at no cost to him. WJCL 22 News' A.J. Sisson was there when he first put it on. Rickinson Innocent was an auto mechanic from Haiti when police mistook a car he worked on for a stolen car. Innocent said through a translator when he was fixing the vehicle, police fired at him while he was a passenger and caught a bullet in his leg, forcing an amputation. He's lived in Savannah for seven months now, taking English classes at Savannah Tech, where his teacher noticed his limp. I just immediately wanted to ask him what was wrong because he looked so young and healthy. Tate did not want to go on camera, but shared that Innocent's old wooden prosthetic just was not doing the job. He said that the fake leg he had was not fitting well. And so I just asked him if it'd be okay with him if I reached out to a doctor or someone who might be able to help him. And he said, of course. After a Google search, she found Reform Prosthetics, owned by a Paralympic runner, whose mission statement is to help all motivated patients. He's doing everything he can with very minimal uh, prosthetic technology. It doesn't matter what country you're in, any first prosthesis you use, you're going to experience changes that require updates. The doctors here at Reform said that a prosthetic is not just a toy, it's a responsibility to keep yourself in shape and with your follow-up visits, but for Innocent, this was no challenge. He is just willing to do whatever it takes in order to get him where he needs to be. He's very patient with us, and uh, that always is a good combination for a good outcome. When we asked Innocent how he feels for all the help that he's received. So, Miss, oh, Thank Miss, you Miss, Miss, Miss. <laughs> yeah, he's very grateful. He said, thanks, he's not enough. In Savannah, AJ Sisson, WJCL 22 News. And with his new leg, Innocent said he plans to become more fluent in English while continuing his work as a mechanic during his stay here in America. And how wonderful is it that that teacher took notice, mm -hmm. talked to him, and did something to help? You know, they say all it takes is sometimes just one person to show some kindness, and she did as yeah. well as the company that makes the prosthetics to help this young man out. This is life-changing for him. Yes. And it happened right here in Savannah. I love it. Absolutely.